President Bola Tinubu's decision to remove the petrol subsidy has had a significant impact on European refiners, as reported by Reuters. The previously thriving black market for smuggled subsidized Nigerian fuel in neighboring countries like Togo, Benin, and Cameroon has collapsed, leading to reduced demand for shipments through Nigeria. Although exact figures on the quantity of smuggled fuel are unavailable, official and independent estimates suggest that more than a third of petrol could have been illegally sold abroad from the state oil firm and NPC's depots daily under the subsidy regime. The removal of the subsidy has eliminated the financial incentives for fuel smuggling, further affecting the demand from West Africa. Rajra Gendron, Refinitiv's lead oil analyst, supported this notion, stating that the demand from the region is diminishing. Additionally, the weakening of Nigeria's Naira since the central bank lifted currency restrictions in June and soaring inflation rates have made fuel imports increasingly unaffordable. The much-awaited Dangote refinery, intended to address the domestic supply shortfall, has experienced significant delays. Its full production of 650,000 barrels per day is not expected before the second quarter of 2025, according to CIDIC estimates. As a consequence, the absence of the petrol subsidy and the challenges faced by the refinery have collectively impacted European refiners and the dynamics of the fuel market in the region. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content.